Hello and welcome to the first episode of City Bus Manager Dev Update. I'm not alone here today. I'm with Niklas from PDP here. Hi, Niklas. Hi, Fabian. Niklas, PDP is a new developer for a lot of people here on that channel. I already showcased your games as City Bus Manager, but today, first time having you in person here for a Dev Update. Um, maybe you want to give a short introduction. Who are you? What are you doing? And who is PDP actually? So we're a small um, game development company with only three people uh, and we are all three brothers. So um, one of my bro brothers is a game developer like myself and we're one game designer who does all the UI graphics uh, and all this stuff. And we are, yeah, we three develop the city bus manager. Just three people, amazing. And actually three brothers who started that, why uh, two of you actually at last st are studying, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you're doing it part-time, just dropping a game out of your sleeve, basically. <laughs> yeah. and, but PDP is not an unknown player in the bus simulation. You already started some add-ons for the bus simulator OMSI 2. Um, maybe you want to give us an overview where are you guys coming from? What are you already, have you already done? And what is your most liked product of your sales company? So our most popular product uh, with OMSI 2 was uh, the bus company simulator. Um, that's an economy system for OMSI where you can play with um, other players, multiplayer, have, uh, also fleet management employees, um, stuff like that. And um yeah that was the uh, uh, most successful one i <laughs> would say yeah the, yeah most successful one yeah amazing so a lot of bus knowledge already in there and i mean we already seeing that in city bus manager let's maybe also talk once about city bus manager i already showcased the game as i just mentioned on the channel but a lot of people might not seen that video might First, our first time viewers, um, do you want to give us two or three sentences and what a city bus manager and what are, am I doing in it? So basically in the city bus manager, you create your own bus company um, and we have two parts in the game. The one part is the tycoon uh, part where you create your rooms, um, buy your buses, um, do the maintenance of them, wash them. And the, the second part is the map where you plan your lines. Mm -hmm. And the special thing about it is that we are using OpenStreetMap data uh, so that you can play in every city worldwide and you can even play in your own hometown and create your real bus routes from there. Um, yeah, and that's... That, that's the loop, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <And> so basically, <laughs> the main thing is you can play it anywhere in the world in any city. You just enter the city name or the zip code of the city and you then mm -hmm. select your hometown and can basically view your home, your shops your school and all that stuff on the map as points of interest um without further talking about the game i think we have first of all to give a big shout out a big thanks to all the people who already bought the game it's amazing i think neither you or we um did actually think of such great feedback right um yeah it's incredible. We are super thankful for every we review, f even for the negative we have to say, because the most negatives are like really constructive um, feedback, but also the positive ones are really motivating and really um, letting the game shine to its um, yeah stars. Um, speaking about feedback, dropping a game often means something really special. Before dropping the game, most likely 10, 20, or even maybe 100 people played the game. But dropping that to a release, often many thousand people start to play the game. And, and play, running a game on many thousand configuration with different languages, operation systems, drivers and all that stuff, often mean problems. But that means you need to patch. And you already shown how quick you are with patching. Um, would you walk us once through the yeah, main things of the last patches from release till now? Yeah, so at the beginning after the release, uh, we concentrated on the game breaking bugs because as you already said, if you've tested it um, on um, some computers and then thousands of people play it, there are always some configurations where we get some problems. And that was what we concentrated the most mm -hmm. at the beginning so that we could fix them really quickly. 
Uh, we're still getting uh, additional bug reports and feedbacks, which we are working on currently, so there are more things to come. Um, one thing we're currently working on is the routing mm -hmm. of the map. So when you create your lines, um, there were some issues with uh, special bus lanes or with uh, one-way streets, which uh, can be used by buses. And these are things where we got hundreds of feedbacks from different cities from all over the world. Uh, we've checked them all. Uh, and integrated the routing um, to the game so that it's also working correctly there so that when it's um, correctly in open street map, it's also working in our game and therefore we've just uh, released a beta update in the steam beta branch which you can already try and um, we can or we're planning to release the updates next week for everyone so that everyone um, can use our new routing right new routing will be a great thing because a lot of people complaining, as you said, with one-way roads, for example, so that the bus might be able to drive in their cities there. Mm -hmm. But, um, Niklas, you thought of a really smart way to give bug reports. Um, maybe we should mention that once. So if you're running into an issue in City Bus Manager, it's really... There's a really unique way, as I feel. You can simply press in game to report a bug. This will include a log, this will include a screenshot, and you can include information that you might think are useful for that report. These reports go directly to you guys, and you've been able then to manage them and actually just load the game in a state which the customer has it and simply recreate this issue to fix it even faster. Um, but mm -hmm. bugs are one thing. Often with people, there might be requests for features, but you also thought of a smart way to include feature requests into the game. As it's an early access, we want to de develop the game further and um, while it's the early access and we want to develop it with the community based on community feedback. Walk us once through the um, idea you guys had for feedback and feedback votes. <coughs> So you can also send feedback directly in the game, which you get. Um, we already have received thousands of feature uh, suggestions. Uh, it's really amazing how many ideas you have for the game. And we all put them together um, in our feature voting system. Mm -hmm. And there um, you have the possibility directly in the game, uh, from the main menu, you can access it to vote for the features which uh, were suggested. So there you can say which features you would like to see next and which features you don't like. And uh, on that way, we get a good impression on what are the most wanted features and can implement it in this order. Yeah, that's a really great one. I think a lot of people loving that and so many ideas. I think you said it, over a thousand great ideas already came in. Not every idea will make it into the voting list. But the things that be is that been able to well develop later on will definitely find their way into the feature list and maybe find their way into the game. So you can, guys can be mm -hmm. part of the game. Um, talking about being part, there's a special thing also going on right now because it's all about buses in that game. And also on that one, um, you haven't had an idea which we are right now working on in the Discord. I mean, you already see the Discord link um down there on the bus, but also in the video description, you will be able to find it. Definitely join the Discord and maybe get even your bus into the city bus manager. Um, Niklas, how is that working? We wanted to have more buses in the game and therefore we would like to ask the community which buses they would like to see. Therefore, we've uh, created some channels in the Discord for every continent where you can um, propose some buses which you would like to see in the game. And uh, we've collected them and then created a voting where you can currently vote which bus you like most. And the top 10 buses, um, which are uh, most liked, will be um, added in the bus, uh, added in the game by us. So 10 new buses just around the corner and your most liked bus um, could be a thing on that one. I'm really, really looking forward for that because new buses means new ways to handle passengers on that map. And maybe I will be able then to handle my problematic map later on with bigger buses. So um, I definitely need your vote for the double accelerated uh, buses. So I have the really long buses and all that stuff. And um, while doing the bus vote, I already saw a little hint in the Discord because a lot of people did ask for EV buses, for, for electric buses. But you already mentioned that that can't be voted on for now because you guys gonna yeah, 
implement the whole ecosystem for EVs later on down the road in early access. So like chargers and all that stuff gonna be yeah. added later on. So keep an eye also on that one. Um, speaking of being added later, um, let's quickly give a summarize of what are the main things you right now working on. First thing was a routing update, you already mentioned that one, but also there's another big thing you guys gonna work on and it's performance, right? Exactly. So especially if you have a lot of buses in the game and many employees, uh, there are some performance issues at the moment. Uh, and that's something we would like to work on uh, so the performance gets better in these cases. Um, and that would be a basic also for the future to create larger areas. Yeah, definitely. So maybe you can expand your map somewhere and get new room to play in City Bus Manager. But also anytime you can create a new city, play a new part of the world, maybe go to UK or wherever you like to um, to see new countries in City Bus Manager. Last but not least, I have a uh, maybe spicy question for you guys, Niklas. A lot of people playing on PC. I myself play on a Mac and I'm really thankful that the game is out on Mac OS. But a lot of people might want to play the game on their mobile device or even on console um is there hope for these people <laughs> <laughs> maybe so currently we don't have uh, exact plans for them but uh, we'll see what will come in the future so if many people would like to see that maybe there's a chance that um there will also be some uh, the game for other platforms yeah so definitely leave your feedback down in the comments down in the discord um if you like to see the game on other platform last but not least feel free um to leave a comment if you already submitted a feature for example and um, if you have another idea or if you have feedback about city bus manager we're reading all the comments and we're gonna go through all of them well niklas i think we wrapped it up really nicely for today um we're gonna See ourselves quite soon again if new features are coming for the City Bus Manager. So also let us like, uh, let us know about questions. If you have any question for the team of PDP to Niklas or his brothers, which I can ask them and we're gonna include in the upcoming videos. Um, thanks for your time, Niklas, today. You're welcome. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Have a great one. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye.